Hi, I'm Jacob Hornberger, president of the Future of Freedom Foundation. Well, Donald Trump has the mainstream media in a tizzy again. In a foreign policy speech, he used the term America first, which conjured up the group here in the United States that opposed entry into World War II after the fiasco that World War I had been with the total waste of American life and a war that was supposed to end all wars. And within a short period of time, England had declared war on Germany to free Poland from Nazi tyranny. Well, Roosevelt ends up provoking the Japanese into attacking Pearl Harbor, deliberately sacrificing the innocent soldiers there. And that circumvents the 90% of the American people who opposed entry into the war. Well, at the end of the war, Poland and Eastern Europe were freed from Nazi tyranny, but surrendered to, under the control of the Soviet Union, which had been America's World War II partner and ally. Well, then that gave them the excuse to use the Soviet Union as a new official enemy, which brought the Cold War, Korean War, Vietnam War, and the up-to-date version of all this interventionist philosophy with the U.S. death machine in the Middle East that's given us ISIS and civil wars and death, destruction, misery, suffering, refugee crises, and then, of course, the loss of liberty here at home with NSA surveillance schemes and torture, assassination, and all the rest. Donald Trump has asked an interesting question. What's wrong with making American prosperity, freedom, harmony, and morality first and foremost over the death and destruction that comes with interventionism?